Today we began in Parma, home of the great Vittorio Adorni. It was a hot day. Temperatures in the high 20s. And heading over the hills, not quite far away, but into Liguria. Before all that happened, it was hard to keep track of what was happening. So many attacks, so many attempts at making a breakaway. It was a wonderful watch. And Armand Demar broke that up into two halves, really, by taking the intermediate sprint. But it didn't quite settle down straight away after that. One move went, another follow. It would take 70 kilometers, roughly, for the break to go. And this is what it looked like when it went. 25 riders strong once the three from the second division in Italian teams had got across. A long chase, but a good chase. The only problem is it will probably leave them bereft of energy afterwards. Trek Segafredo went to work again. And on the way down the Paso del Bocco for the first time since 2011, we remembered the late Walter Weylot, who sadly lost his life on this descent in 2011 while racing the Giro d'Italia. It's number 108, retired forever. The race at the front had broken up by the time we got to the final 10 kilometers. In all honesty, it's broken up inside the final 50 kilometers. Lorenzo Rota on the left there had attacked. Three came into the final kilometer. Young Hess Lehmreiser tried to get across. He was caught. Stefano Dani attacked. He let out the sprint. Rota tried to get around, just couldn't make it by the time they got to the line. First win in the career of Stefano Oldani. Juanpe Lopez kept the Maglia Rosa. Peloton coming home, nine minutes, seven seconds down. A second stage win for Alpha Fenix at this 105th Giro. 